Hello everybody and welcome to my new tutorial on how to create the tabs element using Bricks Builder. I have prepared a demonstration here for you to see how it will look like when we have finished our walkthrough. And as you can see, there is an indicator here for which tab is active. Then there we have our tab content and you can click through the tabs or through the tab links and the content on the right side changes corresponding to what you have uh, selected. So let's get started. I'm going to show you how to set it up. So let's jump over to our bricks installation and create a new page. Let's call it tabs, hit publish and hit edit with bricks. So when we are inside our page, I'm gonna create a container here. And inside that container, I'm gonna place two other containers. So let's set this here to horizontal. And the left side will be, as we have seen it on the demonstration here, will be the, the links or we ho will hold the links. And on the right side, we are gonna placing our tab contents. So let's add here three containers for our link and let's give them a class of WCD underscore tab underscore link. So we can style them. Let's give them background color and some kind of, I don't know, some kind of padding and a little bit of margin. So it was a bit too early. Let's duplicate this one. And there we go. I'm gonna just align and give here text element. So let's say this is tab one. That's tab two. And the third one is the third. Tab three. So that's it for our tab indicator. And here we are dropping another three elements, which will get the class of WCD underscore tab underscore content. We can also style them here. Let's give them the grayish background color I did in my demonstration. And let's also center the elements inside of it. And for that parent container here, I'm gonna just give it a, a height of, let's say, 70 view height. And I'm gonna stretch all those items inside here. So that they will have all the same height. So let's duplicate this three times and you can, you can place them as they are here because we have in our CSS part, I'm gonna defining here a min height of 70 view height. It's, I think it's easier that way to style them. So let's add a uh, text inside of it. We don't need to, to write anything here just to demonstrate how it will look like. Maybe here another image. And here we could add, I don't know, a button. So that's it for the setup. And what we will have to do now is add a code element and paste the code from the documentation here. You just need to copy paste that code here. So just copy it and paste it here and hit execute code. So when we now go over to the front end, as you can see, it is already working. So there is the, the button on the third one and that's it. You can, you can have, or you have full control of over how it will look like. So you could, for example, give here a column gap of 20 pixels to make it look a bit nicer. You could also stretch those containers here and align this to center. You could then um, make them stack vertically on, on 
mobile viewport, so that's how it would look like. And they are, as you can see, full responsive. There is just one thing I forgot to mention um, here in the code. You can see there is a variable called default open and it is set to zero. So what this means is that um, the first tab will be opened by default. If you set or if you want another tab to be opened by default, you have to change that variable here to another number. So let's say for example, we want the third tab to be opened. Um, then we have to count it like an array. So the first one would be zero, the second one would be one, and the third one would be the number two. So if we want tab three to be opened by default, we have to set the number to two. So let's try this here, set it to two, hit run, save. And after reloading the page, you can see, I'm gonna set it here to tab one. So after I reload the page, the default open tab is, is number three. So that was now really everything about how to set it up. I hope you had fun. If you have any questions or facing any problems, just let me know in the comments or in the Facebook group. I'm happy if I can help you. And of course I appreciate any feedback from you. So. I want to improve my tutorials, so please let me know if you had a hard time by following the tutorial or if it was okay for you. Um, I have also a small preview on what I will do with my next tutorials. So I probably will show you how to populate those tabs and maybe that accordion element here with uh, dynamic data so using metabox and maybe acf to populate those things with um, repeater and clonable groups so that you can kind of output your dynamic data with those elements if you're interested in those tutorials just make sure to subscribe to my channel and then you get notified when i have them available so thanks for watching my tutorial and have fun by setting it up.